Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited. We have a brand new horror subscription. This is the Horror Haul by Culture Fly. I will leave them linked down below. Um, I will get more into this box, how often it comes, pricing and all that in just a moment. But yeah, if you wanna see what I got in this big box, then just keep on watching. First off, if you're new, welcome. I am going to be getting this box uh, regularly. So if you're here for this, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. This is a seasonal, so quarterly box. So you get it every three months, which I think has to do with the size of it. I think the themes for this, we have It Chapter 2, The Exorcist, The Nun, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and The Lost Boys. That's on the box. So I don't know if those are like the themes for the box or if that's just on the box as possible things. I, this is my first box. This box is around 42. So again, it's quarterly. That's generally what I've paid for horror subscriptions even when they've been monthly. So I can get into some other subscriptions that I've done in the past, but let's jump in to the horror haul. Okay, first off, there is a card, I think, and it does show the contents of the box. I'm not gonna look at that very closely. I'm sure there's explanations of things. Yes, it looks like the themes that were on the box are what the items are themed around. So that's nice, because I can never remember. So first off, we have a canvas tote bag from Friday the 13th, and I do actually use these. I have three kids. Um, five and under. So I end up carting stuff around. I generally like to keep these in my car because the kids, you know, want to take stuff. I'm never good about remembering to take them into the grocery store, but I do use them to transport my kids stuff. So I do have a couple of like Nightmare Before Christmas ones that I keep in my car. So I will add this one to the mix. So that is nice. And it's like, thicker canvas it's not like one of those like plasticky ones it reminds me of like a 90s style canvas tote bag which is fitting with Friday the 13th so anyways we will move on the next thing oh and I've seen these this is a nooks and this is a Pennywise so you put them on a bookshelf in between your books and they kind of peer out and it has the I Heart Dairy balloon these are cool. I've seen them on Instagram. I've seen a couple with like, you know, Frankenstein and the classic like Universal Monster. So that's cool. And this is series one, Pennywise, and it's a culture, I think it's a culture fly item. It's made by Warner Brothers. Nooks built by culture fly. That's cool. I will have to find a spot probably for him. There's kind of a space where we at. Where am I going? This way, like over kind of in here. There we go, like in there I could possibly <laughs> put that. Anyways, okay, the next item is a Lost Boys item. I'm excited about this. The Lost Boys, there's Michael, but yeah, there we go. And then I have David as a rubber duck right there. One of my favorite movies. And then I have a signed print up there, the saxophone player from the movie signed that and I have met Corey Haim. Lost Boys it's one of my favorite movies I need to I have a copy of the picture of me with Corey Haim I need to put it kind of over in there maybe but anyway so I'm excited about this I have a couple of Lost Boys items but this is it's just a black mug with like a decal on it but that does not bother me I'll just have to be careful when I wash it maybe don't and it does say Lost Boys on the bottom. Built by Culture Fly. Hand wash only. Do not microwave. But it's a little travel thermos. So that is cool. I will, I drink coffee every day. And I tend to, again, with smaller kids, I like to, even when I'm at the house, putting them in cups like that. Because if they get knocked over, they don't spill as easily. The next thing we have in here is a pin, and I do have a collection of pins. I actually have them on a vest. It's like an acid wash, 80s um, inspired looking denim vest, but that's where all my horror pins are. My husband's actually, this is brick. We're gonna 
mount some wards so that I can hang my vest and a couple of my horror themed wreaths, but we have a pin from The Nun. Yes, so there she is. So that will go on there. It's not completely full, so I can squeeze that on it. Maybe not the best imagery of The Nun I've ever seen. It's kind of cartoony, but it'll go on the vest nonetheless. And the next thing we have in here, oh, I'm excited about this. Does it show a picture of, it does. So I don't have to, it's an umbrella. So we have the exorcist. Color changing umbrella. I'm gonna hold up the card because I don't wanna open it. Uh, we're right in there and it looks like it's the artwork from the DVD cover. And then I'm assuming these white parts are the parts that change color. And it, I think it's supposed to look like, like the vomit spewing is it kind of looks like vomit splatter in those white parts so that's cool I do have an umbrella that I stole from my grandmother's house because I didn't I live in Arizona we don't get a ton of rain and I have not had an umbrella for years and my grandmother when I went to visit her this is a little bit of a tangent had like 10 umbrellas in the corner of her room and I just took one home with me so it will be nice to have another one in the car because we do get rain but we don't get rain often enough that I felt the need to go out and purchase an umbrella but it will be nice to have one and that's cool that it's horror themed and then this item was a spoiler I did see it online it's a windbreaker and I did get men's extra large so that my husband if he he doesn't care for horror movies but if he chooses to wear it then he can wear it too but it's just a green windbreaker material and then it has a cougar on the back and it feels like it's decent like it doesn't feel like super flimsy like some windbreakers are really like cheaply made this one doesn't feel bad so that is nice so I think that's everything. Oh yeah, it does show I'm totally blind. So yeah, there's the, which you probably saw, there's the color changing. So it is supposed to be the vomit splatter when it gets wet, I'm assuming. So that's cool. So we do have the epoxy pin, the travel mug, the book nook, the tote bag, and the windbreaker. So this is for spring 2023 and again, if you follow them on Instagram, they did preview this item and I think they showed what the themes were. The last season's box had some really good stuff in it. So that's kind of what prompted me to get this. Again, I wanna say it was around 42, which isn't bad. That's typically what I've paid for horror subscriptions in the past. Um, I've done Fright Crate. I did Fright Crate for years, which is where most of like these figures um, have our Fright Crate. Fright Crate went out of business. They are no more. Most of these prints are Fright Crate. These two masks, the Jason ones are Fright Crate. I got these from the spirit store, but most of this stuff is Fright Crate. And then I have my Reagan duck that one of my subscriber friends sent me. And then he also sent me the Beetlejuice one. So I like that all of them are out now. But anyways, Fright Crate with the shipping was around 42, but that never had like recurring. I had to go in every single month on the first and buy each box. Sadly, again, they went out of business. I did loot Fright for a little while. They were every other month and they were around $45-ish mark again. The items I don't believe were as good quality as these and the shipping was a little bit erratic. It got better. I think I did three boxes maybe with them. It got a little bit better, but I just ended up canceling it because I didn't have anywhere to put my stuff. This stuff all used to be in my closet. So now that I have some of it down here, I have more room up there. And I like that this is only quarterly because then it's not an overabundance of stuff because you do reach a point where you run out of space. So, I'm happy with this. Let me know what you guys thought. Again, I am going to keep getting it. So the next box will be in like two or three more months probably. Does it say on here? It just says spring. But yeah, I will leave their website linked down below. They have other boxes just like um, Loot Crate. 
anime, Harry Potter, different fantasy genres. So if you aren't interested in horror, but you like the idea of getting a quarterly subscription box for Pokemon or whatever you like, they have them and they're all around the same price point. And then you can buy individual items. I don't think they had any of the stuff out of the horror box individually, but they did have stuff that looked like maybe out of the anime section. So definitely check them out. I will leave them linked down below. I might have a referral code. If I do, that will be down below also. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Let me know what you thought of this box. I don't think this was bad. I definitely like it better than Loot Fright. Nothing against them. I have all of the stuff that I got from those boxes. I didn't get rid of anything, I don't believe. But I definitely like the quality of this stuff a little bit better. So I'm happy with this. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Make sure you're subscribed again if you're not already. And hopefully, as I move the camera around, hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon.